The United States has imposed new sanctions on North Korea in response to a cyber attack against Sony Pictures Entertainment. President Barack Obama signed an executive order on Friday allowing sanctions on three North Korean organizations and ten individuals. The White House said the move was a response to North Korea's provocative, destabilizing, and repressive actions. United States sanctions are already in place over North Korea's nuclear program. But Friday's actions are believed to be the first time the United States has moved to punish any country for cyber attacks on a United States company. Among those named in the sanctions were the Reconnaissance General Bureau, North Korea's primary intelligence organization, North Korea's primary arms dealer, the Korea Mining Development Trading Corporation, COMED, Korea Tangan Trading Corporation, which supports North Korea's defense research. Jang Songchul, named by the United States Treasury as a COMED representative in Russia and a government official. Kim Yongchul, an official of the North Korean government, according to the United States, and a COMED representative in Iran. Ryu Jin and Kang Ryong, COMED officials and members of the North Korean government who are operating in Syria, according to the United States. White House officials told reporters the move was in response to the Sony hack, but the targets of the sanctions were not directly involved. Instead, the sanctions are designed to further isolate North Korea's defense industry as deterrent for future cyber attacks. The FBI and President Obama have previously said they believe North Korea was behind the cyber attack. North Korea denies involvement in the hack and some cybersecurity experts have also cast doubt on its guilt. However, a senior White House official said it was extremely rare for the United States to attribute cyber attacks, and it was only done so because of the destructive nature of the attack, and because the White House saw it as crossing a threshold. Hack effect. Sony was embarrassed after a group calling itself Guardians of Peace leaked data from its computers, exposing emails and personal details. The group later threatened cinema chains planning to screen Sony's satirical North Korea comedy, The Interview. Oblique references to the 9-11 terror attacks prompted the cancellation of the film's nationwide release. A small number of independent cinemas did screen the film, and it was released online.